so there are m distinct uh, whatsoever like maybe container or boxes or okay so there are m distinct containers let's say and we have n identical objects and we want to distribute these n identical objects into m distinct containers okay so now let's say for simplicity we'll take n as 5 and m as 3 all right so now the problem is how many ways can we distribute five identical objects right so here n is 5 so we have five identical objects and we want to distribute these five identical objects into these three boxes or containers okay so let's say there are three boxes or containers okay and we have let's say five identical objects and let's say for simplicity uh, let's assume that these identical objects are balls okay so we have five identical balls all right now let's denote each ball by b since they are all identical anyway we have five b right so we have five balls and we have three distinct boxes okay so or containers so let's use the uh, word container here and let's represent the containers by c1 c2 and c3 since they are all distinct containers we can differentiate so we know which is c1 we know which is c2 and we know which is c3 all right so we have these five identical balls that we want to distribute into these three distinct containers okay and how many ways can we do that that is a question okay so let's think about from the containers perspective okay so here we have these three containers and uh, c1 can have zero balls that is a possibility right one way of distributing that is c1 zero c20 c35 this is an example okay this uh, this is an example of a distribution one way of distributing these five identical balls is that all of these five can go to c3 container and uh, c2 and c1 get none this is one possibility right now okay so let's understand it this way so let's uh, say that since there are three containers right uh, what we will do is we will take 3 minus 1 which is 2 bars ok so 2 bars I will draw such that it will say it will distinguish these three containers so the first bar here whatever is coming to the left of it is okay, uh, whatever is coming to the left of this bar that much balls c1 has okay and in between the first bar and second bar whatever balls let's say are there that is in c2 and whatever is coming to the right of the second bar let's say that is c3 container right okay and uh, we have 5 b right we have 5 identical balls that is all 5 b right now it can come anywhere right so one possible uh, arrangement is like this right so two balls in c1 two balls in c2 and one ball in c3 right and so in this way the earlier example how we can denote this c1 is 0 means whatever is left to the first bar is 0 so there is no b here left to this first bar and we have also second bar so in between first and second bar is a place for c2 since c2 is 0 there is no b here now so to the right of second bar we have 5 b which represents c3 have 5 balls right so this is how this is an arrangement okay so this is an arrangement having 5b and 2 bars okay 
so there are two bars and five b's right and it's a, any arrangement of these two bars and five b is a distribution right you can think about it right any arrangement of 3 minus 1 which is 2 bars any arrangement of 2 bars and 5 B's right corresponds to a distribution right so how many distributions will be there well it depends on how many arrangements we can have with two bars and five b's so we have the symbols like two bars are there and five b's are there how many ways can we arrange this that is the question how many ways can we do that see a total of seven symbols are there right so seven symbols so seven factorial by b is repeating five times so by five factorial and bar is repeating two times so by five factorial or two factorial these many arrangements it can have right in another words how can we write it in terms of combination this is uh, in terms of permutation we wrote right so if in terms of combination we want to write we can just select the positions where the five b's goes right or two bars goes both are same if you just select the places where two bars come right then if you just select the positions okay then automatically see there are seven positions right see here we have seven positions so in this example first position is uh, a bar second position is a bar right and if you select these two positions for this bar then rest of the places automatically b will come okay so combinatorially writing it is 7 choose 5 which is same as 7 choose 2 so and we got the answer actually so we got the answer of the question how many ways are there to distribute five identical objects into three distinct containers or boxes whatever okay so now let's generalize this concept now we have let's say n identical objects see so identical objects need not be balls always i just took it for an example okay and there are m distinct containers right okay see these m distinct containers m minus 1 bars we can have to distinguish between the containers right so m minus 1 so the first bar left to the first bar meaning that it is the first container how many containers are there there are m containers okay so m minus 1 bars are needed right because left to the first bar is the first container between the first and second bar is the second container between the second and third bar is the third container and so on and after the m minus 1th bar this is m minus 1th bar after that bar whatever is coming it represents the mth container okay cm mth container whatever uh, object how many objects it has it represents that and how many identical objects are there identical objects are n right so we can just have n symbols denoting identical objects let's say o is a symbol for the object here and there are n o's okay there are n o's yeah so we have n identical objects and m distinct containers right and because we have m distinct containers we want to distinguish these containers right and that we can do using m minus 1 bars right so with the help of m minus 1 bars we can actually distinguish these m containers because 
if you see if you take the first bar okay and whatever is coming to the left of this bar it is c1 container 1 okay and uh, so that if there are any objects coming here let's say if there are like uh, o, o coming here then it means that the, if there are two o's coming here it means that the container 1 have two objects okay and if say there is one o here it means that c2 have one object okay so c2 is the container which is coming in between the first bar and the second bar okay and in between the second bar and third bar we have third container and so on so so this is how we distinguish the containers using m minus 1 bars okay and uh, any arrangement here okay so there are totally n identical objects right so each object actually we are denoting it by o right so there are n o's here and n o's can come anywhere here right so we can say that there are a total of n plus m minus 1 positions right so n plus m minus 1 positions are there to be filled and anywhere uh, this m minus 1 bars can come and n identical objects can come and uh, you take any arrangement of this take any arrangement of this m minus 1 bars and uh, n o okay it actually represents a distribution of this n identical objects into the m containers it actually represents a distribution i hope that's clear okay and so it how many arrangements we can have that tells us how many ways can we distribute this n identical objects into the m distinct containers so how many ways can we arrange it since there are n plus m minus 1 positions right we can just select the m minus 1 positions where the bars can go okay and that will automatically tells us the tells us that the, the remaining places the identical objects will go okay that is the o's will go okay and that is n plus m minus 1 choose m minus 1 okay and that's how this formula came for how many uh, for the question that how many ways can we distribute n identical objects into m distinct containers so i hope that's clear okay and if you have any doubt or any queries to ask please comment in the comment section below okay so thank you